Do you feel safe on Britain's streets? So I agree with the Met Commissioner on this. Um, the incident that's happened, which is absolutely awful, and my, my heart goes out to Sarah's family and friends, is exceptionally rare. Uh, but, it, but that said, we've seen an outpour on social media and on the news of women sharing their stories of not feeling safe. And and do, do you mind my asking, and please tell me if I'm prank, have you ever felt threatened or intimidated or harassed on the streets, Minister? Well, I have, but I don't really want to make this uh, about me. Um, but I would say that on the whole, our streets you know, are safe. We do have low rates of crime, but we are we are addressing this problem as well. We're well on our way to getting the 20,000 uh, 20, uh, 20, additional police officers. We have committed 100 million to violence against women and girls services. And uh, importantly, later this year, we will be launching a strategy on violence against women and girls. So this is something that the government is focused on. We are listening to the stories that are coming out. And I'm sure that my colleagues uh, in the Home Office will continue to do that, as Pretty pointed out yesterday. OK. And lastly, in the House of Lords, Baroness Jenny Jones says she might suggest a curfew for men after 6pm. Would you support that, Minister? So I wouldn't support any curfew that would curtail freedom of women or men. Um, and it doesn't really get to the heart of the problem. And we also need to be careful we don't get into uh, a blame game against men. The majority of men are, are not predators, in fact. Um, and we need to keep reinforcing that, not taking away from the endless stories that women have shared. We need to get to the heart of the problem rather than masking it. And we should all be able to walk on the streets or go out or meet friends, uh, including late at night, and feel safe in being able to do that. Grateful for your time.